Hey guys, this is Jason. How's everything going? In this video, I'm going to solve another problem on bfe.dev. It's created a sum. Looks easy. It's number 23 on bfe.dev. If you're interested, you can uh, take uh, have a try. Uh, we need to create a sum which makes falling possible. So this sum accepts a number. It will re uh, return a function. This function can take more numbers like this, 2. So 1 plus 2 equals to 3. Notice that this is not strict equal, it's uh, normal equal, and 1 plus 3 equals 4, and this actually equals 4, but it could also takes more numbers and continuously sum the numbers up. Yeah, so, yeah, we should return the function and try to add a to string or value of method to that uh, function so that it could be converted into primitive uh, primitive values when used in this equal equal expression oh no, e e uh, yeah, equal so obviously I need to return a function return a function, it will take an arg and this function, what it would return? like, uh, like this, like someone and then it will uh, return a function, it'll take two, and it will return a function again. So it's recur recursively a call this sum, actually, right? So I would say this should return a sum r. But the one, like for when we sum two, the previous one should be stored somewhere, right? Yeah, for that, um, sum one, like sum one, and then sum two, and for some. I would say uh, sum of one and and two and three actually is the same to three three, right? So it's actually it is the same for sum six. So actually, we could use another parameter to hold the previous sum, like this is uh, priv. Okay, accumulative. I think. Uh, okay, this is the current sum equals to zero, default to zero, so sum one is actually I have a current sum of zero and with a new one, right? So when we return this new function, the R, we will call the sum and the current sum would be what? Would be num plus current sum, right? Yeah, so when we call sum one, it will return the function, it will actually have sum R1. Okay, and then call two. This will call uh, two one. So it will, it will return a function which will call uh, sum r with three. Right. This is the sum of previous numbers. So yeah, this is it. And uh, of course, this doesn't work for the equation. Let's define this function called return func like this, and add a value of method. This is will be used when we are uh, converting the uh, function into, into uh, a primitive number. So it should be a function, return what? Return this num plus current sum. Okay, I'll create a new, new current sum to cache the result. And like this, right? And then I will return this func. So this should work. This review our code before I submit it. So um, sum one, uh -huh, comma sum zero. So return this function. This sum two will be called sum uh, a new function. Return a function. Here will be three, right? Arc three. And func value of will return three. So it will equals three. Sum one four. Uh, some one with four and four. Yeah, it's the same like this. Yeah, it should work. I think Great, let's submit it actually rather than the value of we could also it's not very good though uh, I actually we could uh, We could use the string I think to string Because okay, I'll transform into string 
it's because when we're converting the uh, object into primitive numbers, it will check the value of. If there isn't, it will, it will convert it into a string, and then the string will be used to convert it into this number. I think this should, should also work. Yeah, but yeah, it's also good. The return this, but it's actually to string. If we use to string, the function, uh, the string, the original the string for this function of body is gone. So I would I would prefer value of. It's better. Cool. So that's all for this one. Hope it helps. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.